fact, nearly half of adults with high blood pressure don't even know they have it. And that's really because it often has no symptoms at all. But here's the thing, when signs do appear, it's usually a sign that damage has already potentially occurred. So in this video, we're gonna share seven important symptoms that could be indications of high blood pressure. So without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so symptom number one, let's begin with blurred or distorted vision. I remember once a patient thought they were having too much screen time, their vision was getting a little blurry, but it actually turned out that their blood pressure had damaged tiny vessels within their eye. And that's a condition called hypertension intensive retinopathy. And in some cases, fluid can build up under the retina or even affect the optic nerve. And by the way, this isn't very common, but when it happens, it can be very serious. So if your eyesight changes with no clear reason, it's always best to seek medical advice. Moving on to symptom number two, nosebleeds or red spots in the eye. I remember once a patient came to me with a burst blood vessel around the white of the eye. And if you've seen this before, it looks very dramatic, but the patients generally feel perfectly fine. And upon investigating, we found his blood pressure had been high for quite a few years, actually. Now, whilst these symptoms are quite rare, severe or long-term high blood pressure can damage those delicate blood vessels because they get weakened and sometimes we get the nosebleed and sometimes we get the bloodshot eye where the blood's in the white of the eye. Now, whilst we're on the topic of blood pressure, a quick side note. Did you know that many people get wrong blood pressure readings because their cuff doesn't fit them right. So because of this, the engineers at a and Medical have made sure that most of our devices, including the one in my hand, the a and Medical Precision Check, have something called advanced cuff fit detection. This basically alerts you if the cuff is too tight or if it's too loose, it's not fitting right. So cuff size and cuff fit is really important. And this is why most of our AD medical blood pressure monitors come with a wide range cuff size. Symptom number three, do you ever hear a pulsing maybe in one ear or a throb in your neck? This can sometimes be a sign of pulsatile tinnitus and it's caused by turbulent blood flow from damaged arteries. Again, it's not always from blood pressure, but if you're noticing this, it's always a good idea to speak to your medical provider provider about it. Straight on to symptom number four, I remember a patient used to describe when they were standing, they felt floaty, they felt dizzy, they felt lightheaded. By the way, the blood pressure readings were dangerously high when I checked them. So while high blood pressure generally doesn't cause these symptoms, it's usually when it's on the lower side that happens. In extreme cases or medication side effects, this can actually happen, this dizziness, this fainting, this lightheadedness when standing. And we call this postural hypertension when you stand and you feel dizzy because your blood pressure drops. So if you are feeling faint, especially when standing, Again, speed to your medical provider. Strand symptom number five, are you ever feeling breathless, especially when going up the steps or walking up a hill? Now, again, there's many different causes for this, but one of them can be due to the long-term effects of having high blood pressure. It basically causes the heart to work harder because you've had it for so long and nothing's being done about it. The heart muscles can thicken and stiffen. And in some cases, it can even lead to left-sided heart failure. And that's when fluid builds up in the lung and causes breathlessness. But like I said, there's many different causes for this, but if you are ever suffering from breathlessness, especially in going up steps or going up hills, speak to your medical provider. Symptom number six, let's talk about headaches. Now these are rarely caused by high blood pressure, but in hypertensive crisis where your blood pressure spikes above 180 over 120 millimeters of mercury, in these kinds of situations, people often describe a pounding headache with nausea and division problems like we spoke about earlier, or just generally feeling unwell. If this ever happens, it's obviously a medical emergency see you need to see medical advice immediately urgently moving on to symptom number seven let's talk about chest pain because that's really important we also talk about it chronic high blood pressure damages the arteries that support our heart that basically increases the risk of atherosclerosis and heart attacks if you ever feel any pressure on your chest some people describe it as an elephant sitting on you that's how it kind of feels for patients pain spreading to your arm or jaw or struggling to breathe that's a medical emergency you need to seek medical advice urgently it's an emergency now one thing that many patients generally ask me is how many readings should I take when I take my blood pressure. And generally what I always recommend patients is you should take three readings, one minute apart each reading basically. Now, if you have our AMD medical blood pressure monitor, like the precision check device in my hand, it has something with our trademark technology that our engineers have developed at AMD medical called tri-check technology. This makes it really simple for you to get three consecutive readings at either 30 second, 60 second, or 120 second intervals between each blood pressure reading. You can basically set that on the device. Now the AMD medical precision check device in my hand is also Bluetooth enabled. It can pair with our a and Heart Tracker app. This app is completely free to download. So I highly recommend everyone downloads it. That way you can store all your results from any of our Bluetooth enabled a and medical devices that pair with it from our weighing scales to our oxygen saturation monitor all the results can get paired onto there and you can visually see them all and see trends and analyze them and also show them to your medical provider so i'd highly recommend downloading it and if you don't have a bluetooth enabled device you can still input the results manually and see them like that so it's completely fine if you don't have a bluetooth enabled device so i really do hope you found this information helpful remember the symptoms we discussed remember to seek medical
medical advice for them. But also do remember, most people with high blood pressure don't have symptoms. That's why it's called the silent killer. And that's one of the reasons why regular monitoring of your blood pressure is so important because you don't feel anything, but your blood pressure might be high and long term, that's when it's going to do the damage. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do hope that you found this information helpful. Visit our channel if you are interested in cardiovascular health. We go through loads of different topics from how to wear your blood pressure cuff properly to how to use your blood pressure monitor properly to doing experiments showing you how common mistakes can make errors and incorrect readings on your blood pressure readings as well as a live Q&A. We do a YouTube live every single month, first Thursday of the month. So if you haven't joined us, please do join us, subscribe to us and join us on the live Q&A. I host the show. I take, answer, I take questions and I answer them live on the show. So if you've got any questions, come on the show and drop a question for us. I would love to answer your questions. As we always say at the end of every single week's video, any medical discover precision.